The funeral has taken place of a Gurkha who won the Victoria Cross for his heroic actions during World War II. Lachman Gurung died just over a week ago at the age of 93. He won the VC while serving in Burma in 1945. In 1945. In 1945. In 1945. They will be always our role model and then our, our heroes. And they will be always our role model and then our, our heroes. Lachiman Garou earned his VC in May 1945 while serving with the Gurkha Rifles in Burma. His company was cut off by Japanese troops. His outpost came under attack and Lachiman Gurung was forced to throw away the grenades that landed inside his trench. He did so successfully twice, but on the third occasion, one exploded, injuring his right arm. For the next four hours alone, he managed to reload and fire his rifle with his left arm only. He managed to repel wave after wave of attack from hundreds of Japanese soldiers. The bats have not been or needed to be embellished. They stand bold as a report of selfless, steadfast and undiluted, ferocious courage. Fellow VC winner Johnson Bahari and current serving personnel were at the service today to pay their last respects to Lachiman Garou. We are very proud now, again, in this modern day and age, we have all the equipment that we have uh, provided from the, uh, the modern army. Now, again, in this modern day and age, we have all the equipment that we have uh, provided from the, uh, the modern, modern army, and we are still, again, take that example and we'll continue our duty, and they will be always our role model, and then our uh, heroes, and then our uh, heroes. In recent years, Nachman became a prominent figure in the campaign led by actress Joanna Lumley to allow former Gurkhas to settle in Britain. It succeeded last year. He was very passionate um, uh, about what he did in his life. And what, what kind of a, a man was he? He is the smallest and bravest of the bravest men. Nachman was only 4 foot 11 inches tall. Joanna Lumley has paid tribute, saying although he was small in stature, we shall all walk in his shadow.